Well, we got an email asking about organization in our sleeper, how I organize things, what I put in each cabinet, and wanted to know basically what is in each cabinet. Figured I'd share it in a video, not only to answer her questions, but to maybe help some other folks who may be struggling with some organizing ideas in their sleeper. Now I will say I am not the world's best in organizing. That is something that is an ongoing thing I struggle with all of the time. While I have stuff pretty much the way I like it and it's functional, that's not to say it couldn't be better. I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna show you what is in each cabinet, where we keep things, and this is gonna be real, guys. I haven't gone through and straightened anything out. This is real life. This is how we keep stuff in the truck. No making fun of us. Yeah, so no making fun of us. <laughs> but before I start that, I wanted to give you all a quick tip. This right here is called Dual Lock. If you have not heard of it, this is an awesome tool to use in the truck. It's basically industrial strength Velcro. We use it for a number of things. One of the things I wanna show you that I use it for in the sleeper is up here on the countertop. One of the questions we get asked sometimes is having the stuff on the countertops, doesn't that fall off when you're going down the road? And this little beauty right here is one way to keep that from happening. I use it in these bins that I have here behind the sink. They are dual locked to the counter just like that so when we are going down the road this stuff does not shift or fall off the counter another thing that I use is this little shelf lining stuff here you can pick it up at the dollar store Walmart has it Target and I keep that under our coffee pot I've never once had the coffee pot or anything in those bins fall off of the counter while we're driving. This works great for a lot of things. I hang stuff up on the cabinets with it. I hang stuff up on the fridge with it. It's good for like, say your pre-pass. Say you have to get your windshield replaced. This will work to put your pre-pass back up and it's easy to take off if, if you need to. So just a quick tip before we get started. I'm going to start over here in our kitchen area. This first cabinet I have up here, basically what I keep in here is all my coffee stuff, my measuring cup. I keep bowls in here. I have just Tupperware and things like that in this cabinet. Coffee cup, measuring cups, mm -hmm. kind of like our, our real dishes. Yeah, right. Those are the main things we use. Up top is where our satellite dish receiver is and I keep the wire rack for the convection oven, parchment paper, Reynolds wrap. If we go over to this cabinet, it continues on. I'm sorry, you probably can't see it real well, but I have Ziploc bags, some more baking things up there. Most of the things I have up there are not stuff I use on a daily basis. It's not that easy to access. It is accessible, but it's not stuff I use on a daily basis. Now, one of the things I will say about our cabinets, especially these top ones, is there's no shelves. And a lot of these M2s with these 96 inch bolt sleeper, it's not something that comes standard unless they've changed that. I do know some of the bolt sleepers and the Cascadias come with shelves. It is an option if you're having one built to have them put that in. But it would be nice to have a shelf and we may put one up here one of these days we just haven't gotten around to it yet the next cabinet it was just right here next to the convection oven it's kind of an odd shaped cabinet <laughs> it's kind of a triangle cabinet this is pretty much our equivalent to a medicine cabinet we keep all of our like band-aids peroxide alcohol any kind of medicines cologne deodorant all of that is kept in this cabinet here on the shelf above here is where I keep my pan, my pots and pans that I cook with. I can access them easily. I mean, a short person, they may have a struggle getting that, but I can get that out pretty easily. So that's where I keep my pots and pans. Those are pretty much all the top cabinets above the sink. Now I'm gonna show you what I keep below the sink. One thing the person who emailed me asked is about their trash can because they keep their trash can in their big closet over here. What I do instead of having a trash can is I you just use Walmart bags or grocery bags. I have one here and I have one here on a hook. This one is easily accessible for when I'm back here cooking or we're back here with the curtain closed. 
This one is easily accessible for when we're up front in the cab of the truck. The first big cabinet, let me turn my light on, if we open that up. This is basically just like my under the sink I would have at home. It has all of my cleaning supplies, toilet chemical for the porta potty. I've got, I keep a gallon of water down there. On this top shelf, I keep all of our extra toilet paper. As you all know, we have a porta potty, so that's where I keep that. Let me pull this out because I'm going to show you what I have behind here. And this is full because we just went shopping at Walmart and I just restocked our toilet paper. But back here, if you look down, I have a plastic basket. This is where I keep all my dish towels and washcloths for the kitchen area. Right next to that cabinet is the only drawer that we have in the sleeper. This is where I keep all of my cooking utensils, our silverware, all of our spices, measuring cups, things like that. The cabinet that's down below that is pretty much just an extension of this side. I have more cleaning supplies. This is our hot water heater. Not much going on. I, I will tell you a tip though, if you see right here, I have plastic bins underneath there that I keep our cleaning supplies in just so that if there's any leaks or anything, it would be contained in that bin and not get on the floor underneath. So coming across to the cabinets across from the sink area, we have three more cabinets. This big cabinet here, we keep some hanging clothes, we keep our rain jacket, some other jackets, extra jackets that we have. I also keep our shower bag in here and a bag that has all my laundry detergent and stuff for laundry. Down below, is where I keep all of our extra shoes and I also keep my vacuum cleaner down there. And I have this little nifty thing that holds bags. <laughs> so when I need a new trash bag, I just pull one out of there. And what do you hang that on? I have one of those little command hooks that I've just put right there. Yep. The jackets that we use most of the time, I keep hung um, on this hook, Jason's jacket and my jacket so that they're easily accessible because we do keep the porta potty in front of this cabinet. So anything I have to get out of here, I have to move the porta potty out of the way. So these hooks, these are just basic hooks. You know, you can get these at any hardware store, Walmart, Target, things like that. But Jason just screwed it into the metal behind here and that's where we hang our jackets. This cabinet here is where I keep most of all of our extra paper towels, bowls, plates, anything extra up here. It's also, I call it the dog cabinet because this is where I keep all of their food, their treats. I've got canned food behind here. That's the majority of this cabinet. Again, it would be nice to have a shelf up here and maybe one day we'll get to making one like I'm gonna show you in this next cabinet. This is where we keep all of our clothes. Jason's clothes are up top, my clothes are down here, and these cabinets go back pretty far. They're pretty deep, so you can fit a lot in here. This shelf we made, and I will link a video above showing you how we did that. It was super easy and inexpensive to do. We did it in this cabinet because this is the pretty much the only cabinet in here that is actually a square cabinet. All the rest of them have odd angles. So that's why we haven't really put shelves on the other ones yet, but we will get to that one day. That's made it really nice and gives you extra storage because otherwise it's just a big open space. And the last cabinet we have is another one of these odd shaped cabinets. And what I keep in here is basically all of our socks, and undergarments. I have more storage for toilet paper, baby wipes. I have some candles up here. I have some power cords and just kind of a little bin with some odds and ends things. The reason why this cabinet and the one across is an odd shape is because our sleeper came with a bunk. If it didn't have this bunk, these cabinets would have actually been straight across and gone back and across the back wall. But that's why they're odd shaped is because of the bunk. Speaking of the bunk, let's see how we got that organized. Welcome to the top bunk, AKA our pantry slash 
paperwork station slash catch-all. <laughs> <laughs> I keep the majority of not all of our food up here other than what we keep in the refrigerator. This so, is all our dry food. Yeah, all our dry food, canned goods, uh, everything like that I keep up here. As you can see, I've got plastic bins. I have one, two, three large plastic bins, and then I have two smaller ones back here. What that does is it enables me to load stuff up in the bins and it's not sliding around on the metal bunk. It also helps if anything leaks out of any of these bottles, it's going to catch it in this bin and not get into the bunker all over the place. I keep our instant pot up here as well, along with paper plates and bowls so I can easily access them when I'm cooking. Now on this side of the bunk is where I keep all of our paperwork. I have our Nutribullet here, my coffee grinder, I have, we have a speaker, our printer, kind of all of my little office area if you want to call it that. Printer paper, I've got pins and staplers, scissors, everything I need for the office. <laughs> How do you I, organize the pens? There's a little tin here that I keep the pins in. You could use any kind of cup for that. Also over here is where I keep our induction cooktop. I, it slides perfectly right here. I keep it in a Walmart bag. It just kind of keeps it protected because it doesn't have its own case. So that's where I keep that. We have an extra laptop up here. I have a backpack that has miscellaneous paperwork in it. Um, stuff that I again don't need on a daily basis. We have one of our drones up here so it's easily accessible. And then I have this little bin is kind of my arts and crafts bin. So I have just a lot of arts and crafts stuff in there. But let's talk about these cubbies we have. <laughs> <laughs> these are kind of like a catch-all because they're really not that easily accessible. So the things that I keep in them is just stuff that, again, we don't access on a daily basis. So the first cubby here is basically, again, where I just keep some office supplies. I've got extra printer ink. I've got some Velcro. That's where I keep my dual lock, um, different uh, double-sided tapes and things. And then down here, if you can, I don't know if you'll be able to see that real good, but again, this is just kind of a catch-all. We've got some extra things. Jason's got some camera stuff in here. I've got my immersion blender in there. I've also got a cheese grater in there. Coming to the back wall here, this is where I keep all of our extra like totes and grocery totes, things like that. Extra purses that I have. Jason's got an extra microphone in here for the camera. Coming over to the opposite side again. In here, I just have some extra towels. We've got some extra lifesavers. I've got some um, extra coffee beans, things for our coffee and a pitcher. What's the pitcher for? That's for when I make tea, which isn't very often because usually I don't have room in the fridge to keep that big pitcher. <laughs> yeah. But I have it in yeah. case we need it for something. Yeah. To the last little cubby we have up here, again, it's kind of a catch-all. I just have some extra things up here. I got like one of those, um, what is that, like a shock massager thing. Um, some of our microfiber towels, just odds and ends. I do keep in here my big frying pan and if Jason can come up here I keep my big uh, pot in here I don't use those that often that's why I keep them up here so when I need them I can just come up here and grab them I do have a couple hair tools up here some extra of that shelf lining one more thing we have for storage over here in the kitchen area are these little cubbies. You could use these for spices. I have done that before, but right now I basically just have odds and ends things. I've got some face stuff in here, Neosporin, lip balm. I've got glasses cleaner up here. So I just kind of keep odds and ends stuff like that up there in those cubbies. So the last thing I'm going to show you is what we keep under the bed. One of the questions in the email was, where do you keep your dirty clothes? So I'm going to show you where we keep our dirty clothes. We keep a fan underneath the bed. We keep our tennis shoes just underneath the bed just so they're out of the way and not on the floor. As you can see, I have a laundry hamper. This is where we throw all of our dirty clothes. 
so when it's laundry time I just slide this out I have a laundry bag that I throw everything in to take in to laundry and it just slides and fits right under there and you can reach it from under there yeah like whenever we got dirty clothes we just shove it up under there and are able to get it in that mm -hmm. hamper another thing that we keep here is I keep the caddy this is the caddy that we keep up when one of us is driving we put snacks we have waters in here but when we're not using it just fits right nicely under the bed I also keep the dogs food and water down here their their dry food and water bowl and then I also have another plastic bin that I keep bottled water in the bin helps if you ever have a water like you don't want that getting on your floor <laughs> us having all of that stuff under the bed is not going to work for everybody I'm sure you all have noticed if you've been watching our videos for a while 99% of the time we keep our bed down we don't usually put it up to use the table so the stuff being under there it's just that extra storage space that we use and it doesn't bother us some people like to use that though yeah some people do like to use that they may have other options of storing some of the stuff that we have under there now there are two more cabinets actually that i forgot about because we don't use them that much <laughs> but on either side of the bed we have these two little cabinets there's not a whole lot of space in there but in here we keep like I keep our drone chargers battery chargers air fresheners on this side on the side over here there's another cabinet same it's not that big but I keep me like my extra deodorant extra shampoos toothpaste anything like that just kind of extra stuff that we don't really need to get to is what I keep in those cabinets. So there you have it guys. That is everything that we have in our sleeper, in our cabinets, how I have organized things. If you all have tips or see something that you think that I could maybe organize a little better, please leave it down in the comments because I am open to any suggestions that you all may have. Also, if you want to see how we organize our outside storage in the truck, I'm sure Jason would be happy to do that. Just leave it down in the comments and let us know. We can do a video on that as well. I hope you guys like the video. Thank you guys as always for watching and subscribing. Until our next video. Peace, love, and expediting. Peace.